I've had a lot of questions in this month on heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and also heart problems such as atrial fibrillation, irregular heartbeats. Now the heart muscle itself depends on magnesium because magnesium makes all muscles fire or not. So it also affects blood pressure because it affects the muscles and the arteries. So having 300 milligrams of magnesium a day supplemental is essential for anyone who has any heart related problems. A good multivitamin will give you 150 milligrams, uh, but that alone is not enough. Nor is just eating foods like green leafy veg seeds, especially pumpkin seeds, all very good, but not enough. You need 300 milligrams of magnesium. The heart muscle itself also requires coenzyme Q and carnitine, which is an amino acid that helps the heart to burn fat and uh, that's part of its vital fuel for good regular heartbeat. So if you've got a heartbeat problem, supplement 90 to 100 milligrams of coenzyme Q and 500 to 1000 milligrams of carnitine, which is an amino acid. Now, a, a real general for all heart problems is to eat a low GL diet. And the reason is that when you keep your blood sugar level even, your insulin is low. And insulin, if it's high, raises cholesterol, raises blood fats, and raises blood pressure. So number one is strict low GL diet. Magnesium, lowers blood pressure. Vitamin C, two grams a day, also lowers blood pressure. And if cholesterol is your particular problem, you might want to consider a non-blushing form of niacin, a thousand milligrams, because that's very clearly shown to lower cholesterol and raise HDL. The other all-round good thing for all of us to reduce risk of heart disease is omega-3s from fish. I like to supplement 500 milligrams of combined EPA and DHA, so that's one or two fish oil capsules a day, and I also eat oily fish three times a week. So, low GL diet, omega-3s, vitamin C, magnesium, these are the absolute base, basic points to keep your heart healthy and always eat a low GL diet. If you want to find out more and go into a lot more detail, do read my book, Say No to Heart Disease.